What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And in this episode we are attacking the Prussian, <laughs> not the Prussian, the Persian capital of Tbilisi. And just to give you a bit of a reminder of what's going on, we have punched through the Ottoman front line and we are now beginning a series of lightning advances into enemy territory. But first we must lance the boil that is Tbilisi. So let us attack the city. Destroy the garrison, remove Persia from the game, and then free up all of these stacks that can now push up towards Moscow and hit the Swedish rear. So let's take them out. So this is uh, Theodore's original army, who obviously has now been replaced by um, Leopold Beaumarchais. Um, but we should be able to crack open this city fairly easily then we can also clear out some ottoman stack that towards Ankara send one army on a, uh, a bit of a Hail Mary run towards the city itself and then that will cause their destruction well not the destruction of the Ottomans it's the uh, the rebels that currently hold it then we can begin sending troops into sort of mainland Europe-ish over towards Istanbul Istanbul and hmm. Let's put some guns up here. Cause I'm curious if I can get them to lob shells into the centre. So this is going to be a bit more of a head-on assault than we pre than we normally do. So let's take a selection of infantry and marines here. They're going to assault uh, the forward sections. And we've got a good block of troops to secure the breaches and also push around the right-hand side of the fort. Let's get our guard corps in the woods. Although they can't hide. <laughs> Leopold is ready. Let's attack. So you guys attack there. My howitzers, actually, I might quickly if I can do it. No, I can't do it. Try to get some of these shells to land in the centre. Because they've got some pikes and camels. And they would be very valuable targets to knock out. Although it looks like we are not going to be successful there. But we are destroying this section of the wall, and we're making our way in. To be honest, it might, it might actually be worth getting one of these units to be quick climb the rear, and another unit to actually get to work on some of these other units on the walls. There we go. They do the quick climb does reach. But yeah, let's begin starting. Let's begin to try and clear out some of these big blocks of troops. But we will be attacking from multiple directions to hopefully spread out their forces around the defences. Oh, quick climb. Quick climb for the quick climb guard. See up here, the effect is actually fairly negligible. So, let's get you to attack the first order because they are currently just sat there. You're hitting the American infantry mercenaries, which look like this. And I think they look pretty good, actually. Again, this is a unit from the additional units mod. Oh god, they don't have bayonets, but they do have um, swords. Okay, there we go. So we've, ma we've made a hole there. Let's attack this section of the fort to make some extra in to make some extra gaps. Because once you destroy this section, these areas open up for troops and stuff to run through. But we are witnessing some of their units actually getting ready to defend the breach itself so we want to start quick climbing them i mean back here they're pretty knackered so i'm going to switch to round shot and get one howitzer team to focus on attacking the mortars back here so it will be slow work because accuracy isn't the best but we can at least chip away Although actually, maybe the better the better objective is to clear out um, to clear out these units defending the wall. These guns guns over here, they can't actually attack, can they? Though, let's see if they can arc their shells over that bastion. Boom, boom, boom! Up, up, and over over this feature here, and down onto that section of the wall. Good stuff. Quick climbs. Oh, we've annihilated them. They're down to 54 men. So let's keep attacking the units that are defending the wall. That's a perfect shot. If they can get they can get their um, quick climb shells away. I'm going to speed up time because 
Not a great hit there. But I would like to knock down that section of the wall. Then we can advance on a bit of a broader front. So a miss there. Come on, one good hit. Please. Nope, apparently not. Just still going down. The guns are still firing. That's what matters. It looks like we might have got a good hit. I mean, that square's not even a square. You call that a square? What I want to do is clear them out enough. Well, to be honest, that's probably enough. So this unit here can advance around the flank. These three units can advance to where the future breach is going to be. You guys can walk. These guys can actually... There, console commands go away. There we go. Bring up the horse guard. In quick climb, these guys might not even be the best targets for quick climb because they are now so small. But fundamentally, um, we don't really have any better targets to worry about. We may as well keep softening up the breach. And I am okay with speeding up times, like speeding up time now, because right now there's nothing really going on. I could blitz my cavalry in there, to be honest, but they've got um, pikes. I know what to do. Let's get my Coeur de Bois up on the wall here. Let's get some East India Company infantry over to cover that gate. These three units push up because we're going to now start to feed in reinforcements. We can start to feed in men to secure the gatehouse. There's, well, not secure the gates. Gatehouse, secure the gate. Very well. You men advance. Artillery's firing quick climb. Ah, what? Nice one, mortars. You did good, kid. So let's send some infantry in to begin the attack. I could send cavalry, but like I said, I want to get some... I want to get some... Uh, get some infantry in the breach first. So I'm happy to let my howitzers just sit here clearing out the central block. Yeah, they're about to make a breach here. There we go. So that's both the gates are going to be secured. There we go. That's a... The gate collapsed, so let's retarget our quick climb, because again the centre is now quite weak anyway. My infantry here is gonna pick apart the the Persian defenders. There's only two left in that order. One left now. My skirmishers, let's get them up on the wall. And Feliina running in. Aha! It's a really so let's drop two shots here at close range to hit the 19th altar, hopefully. These men just begin to pour fire into the first altar because right now they are vulnerable. Okay, there we go. The first wave is going in. Let's get you guys to run across to secure the gate. There we go. Our attack ground has done some good kills. It looks like they aren't going to def they aren't going to um, they aren't going to uh, resist our attack. So let's keep attacking ground there. So just let them draw. Oh no, you guys might actually be more worthwhile. No, run over here because they're sending. Um, Biolock on Populus, which will be enough to kill them. So this colonial line, secure the gate. These native mercenaries, charge the bowmen. You may as well just start to get them off the walls. Yeah, there we go. The first are down. Got Feline in the centre, so let's start to charge in these infantry units. Again, I'm okay with letting 
one colonial unit grind their way through. You guys attack the horsemen. Then maybe get back to there. I would like you to fire into the rear of this combat. Let's bring my guard de corps around the flank. So we've secured this gatehouse so our marines advance. Advance while we have that level of superiority. These are just bowmen, so they should fall pretty quick, although it looks like. Alright, you charge the Feline so we can bottle them up. You men advance through. You men advance through. Well, it looks like we might have to actually... Yeah, you guys attack the Israeli. These marines... Ooh, they're firing shrapnel shot at us. And quick climb. My marines charge the artillery. We don't know how long we're going to have the breach. It looks like their Zemandari horsemen are attacking us, but that's fine. We can just run inside. The Coureur de Bois, these guys might be in for a bit of a bad time. The Colonial Line definitely are. They're doing their job. They're holding the ground. I mean, that's a lot of Israeli stacked in on top of each other. So it's line you guys up to shoot at the camels that should line you guys up to fire into the rear of the combat. Ooh. There you go, my marines are going to knock out their guns. Get those marines to run past the infantry because they already are past them. Run you guys up to shoot into the rear of this combat. Like I said, the 103rd are holding firm, but not enough. Okay, let's stop our howitzers from firing. Get our marines to engage the Feline. I mean, you guys might actually charge the desert camel mercenaries. You men should begin firing by rank into the rear of those men defending the breach. So let's actually take both of you guys over here and start doing that. Yeah, our Coeur de Bois did not stand up to the infantry attack. Let's get my marines over here to hold the centre. My cavalry will clear out the rest of their artillery. You men charge the desert warriors. So the hundredth. They're reloading. I wonder if we'll hear any musket shots. Have we got any sound problems? No, yep, there we go. But still, they're firing into the rear, which is useful. So I want my marines on the central point. My cavalry will be good enough to deal with the mortars. These guys have dealt with their guys. Let's get them off the wall. The general's been killed. Ah. So their horsemen charged my infantry. So let's run one unit up, ready to take the, take the position of the 103rd. We've got some musket shots coming in. You guys attack the garrison. There we go. So you guys are just chilling. You guys are doing doing okay. We're going to run the timer out, most likely. There we go. Let's run in some more men. It looks like they want to make a, uh, a melee out of it. So send two infantry units to charge the pikemen. Let's get my guard de corps to hit the main central position so even though they've pulled out of defending the fortress uh, we are <laughs> overwhelming them uh, you're charging that unit of israeli are you nice i did wonder i was sure i was a unit short over here just charge in keep doing damage you guys should knock out the pikemen sometime soon because they won't be able to stand up to that level of punishment for very long. Do you like the, the sort of the buckle, the buckler shields they've got on the Feline here? But in three seconds, it doesn't matter because the battle will be done. Oh no! Right in time to see one of our oh. You swine. 
You swine. They're all still... Oh, now, okay, now they've shattered. But there we go. The, the fortress has fallen to the mighty Louisiana army. And that means those agents should disappear. So we can repair the palace. We can replenish the Uphold's army. Yes, my lord. These armies that already had orders to push can push. So we do want to knock down this modern university. That's for darn sure. Let's do some economy upgrades. Let's knock down the dock. Actually, no, let's keep the dockyard and let's start to... So it'll take you three turns so I can recruit one fifth rate. And this is our first port in the Eastern Mediterranean. So you're marching on Algiers. You guys are replenishing ready to advance against these Austrian troops here. Obviously, you've got a good navy here holding the strait. That's really good. We're currently holding a front line against the Austrians because we want them to push. You guys. So you guys can't hit Maximilian Ulysses Brown, but you guys can advance up to here. So right now, they are a bit stuck as to where they can go. Although they can cross over this bridge if they wanted to. But I don't really, apart from sending this force back, which I don't want to do, I want Felix here ready to respond if they go east. Because they're kind of trapped, and I like that. The old Marshal of Europe, actually, that is. That's not just any general. So I'm tempted to let to see where they go. Okay, you are waiting for that artillery. Good, and then you can advance down to here, because you want to cut the cut the Austrians off and hold this stretch of land here. You're in you're replenishing, but you're on your way to Warsaw. We're still sieging Königsberg, so I would like to draw in some of these armies in a defensive battle here. We're close to def we're close to saving you, Colin. You're now at full strength. Obviously, over here we've got we've broken through the northern flank. We're pushing on towards Petrovskaya, Saint Petersburg. You can actually. Start working on a new army. I mean, it's not going to be the most high-tech army, because they've not invested in St. Petersburg at all. But we can. Obviously, you're here holding the western flank. Obviously, you've got some Swedes coming in here. Um, but what we can do is we can take... Oh, do you want Marcel? Probably not Marcel. We want Adrian Marie Sansé to push and attack some Ottoman armies because they can't retreat east because there's the river here. And if they retreat south, that'll put them within the jaws of our troops there. So they might go this way. Well, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. We need to bring war to the Ottomans' doorstep. We're pushing on Jerusalem, and we can we can we can take the city fairly fairly well if we do a use our um, fast assault tactics where we focus on capturing the city without letting any of the army any enemy units route that would do a massive deal a massive massive blow to the ottomans because they have a few stacks defending the city so, so this is going to be an offensive action well largely offensive we've got some questions on where their reinforcements will come in so i might actually deploy so my field artillery are going to stay at the back, bombarding at long range. My howitzers are going to be in a good position up front. Three units are going to be held back to respond to wherever the enemy re may reinforce from. Same with my cavalry. Okay, perfect. So, quick climbing howitzers. Let's quickly give them all new targets. So then let's use these men to extend the left flank. Because they don't have any artillery, it should be a bit of a, a slugfest for where they're, for where my artillery is shooting. Cavalry's coming in at high speed. It's not a problem, let's get my colonial lights on the right, on the left, heavy cover on the right. Let's just let the artillery do some work for a while. Let's see how shrapnel shot does. 
not good enough. Get them to both bombard the camel gunners here. You bombard the Mamelukes there. Because we've got our our howitzers to do the the good work. So you make sure you hit the Janissary Grenadiers. Where's the Riskers of Souls? They've hidden themselves, have they? Okay, let's let them let them get close. I mean, they could send cavalry only to try and do damage if they like. Okay, you guys might actually trap or sharp that unit of Fellaine to the rear. They have made a poor attempt to try and skirmish us, so we're going to push up the right flank with cavalry support. The left has also broken. So then you guys could shrapnel shot, but you're going to aim at the Mamelukes reinforcing. Did see an army unit has come back. So I don't know how well Colonial Light will do against Mounted Nizam. Fortunately, we won't have to find out because we can form square. <laughs> oh no, they're going to shoot them, aren't they? Oh no, they've dismounted. The fools. Position like so, to fire into the Mamelukes there. You guys should do a real number on that Nizam unit there. Let's bring our heavy cavalry up. So, they do have a force coming in. Minion archers, Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. Yeah, they're, they're doing good. Okay, now you guys drop into square. And you guys can drop out of square. Form line, advance. Push up. Yeah, you guys continue to kill the mountain Nizams. You might actually be able to take them out. There's only two of them left. There's only one left. Now there's none left. That does mean they will reinforce slightly quicker from the from off of the edge of the map. Okay, let's not push up quite that far. They are skirmish cavalry, so they shouldn't charge, even though they could get a good good charge against us. Get my men to form a square with fire at will. Oh, my cuirassier can deal with the Mamelukes here. Let's deploy our light cavalry to harry these Fellaeen. So these guys... They're fine with bows and arrows, but my men are going to absolutely clear them out with musket fire. Yeah, these Mamelukes aren't going to last very long either. So let's make sure we keep kill a handful more of them while they're mixed up in this melee. Whoa, okay, they've got artillery now. Okay, so who have we snarled up? Nizam Light Infantry. Good. So let's advance this arc, this line forward. Because who's that? It's Unit of Feline. So this wing may actually advance up to this rock face. Anchor again. Anchor their left flank. The Curassier are going to advance around. My Light Cavalry should be doing okay. Well, she'll be doing pretty well, actually, against this light infantry. Let's make sure our... Okay, howitzers... Round shot. So you guys should be pouring a lot of fire into the, the flanks of these Faleen so they don't make their way over to support that combat. Good stuff. Advance you guys up to close range. My cuirassier are waiting for a good angle against their artillery. They might get it. But they've got a lot of cavalry still. <laughs> Kurdish hillmen are hidden, eh? Well, these light this light infantry is not going to last 
too long. So you men fill up the gaps. Let's make sure all my artillery firing around shot. Ah, the Janissary Grenadiers to the rear. The guards here are getting a bit of a getting a bit of mischief done to them. Come on, kill the Nizam. Okay, let's keep. Okay, if I bring you guys in against the archers, you men cease fire. Because if we can do a lot of damage to you while the Janissary Musketeers are re, are re or organizing them themselves. I don't want to get involved in a melee with my heavy cavalry yet. So let's see if I can run and draw you guys back. Let's push these men out to form a new line. Good. Kill their light infantry without losing our cavalry. We can take these men and advance them. Up. I was, see, my hope is the Armenian archers do follow them. Good. Now you guys turn around and hit the archers. And the guns back here just keep attacking everyone, to be honest. The Royal Cairo Infantry Guards are a bit of a bold one. There's some Armenian archers back here. Yeah, you've done something a bit risky here, because you've now advanced into musket range of my entire line. It is a glorious sight. Too bad none of these guys are firing. That would make it even better. So let's make that so. Okay, you might advance up to that side of the mound. These men advance up the right hand side, so it's not maximizing their firepower, but I didn't it's not really that much of a problem. There we go. The archers have been annihilated by my cuirassier. We have some more reinforcements coming in, including some riskers of souls. Keep my cavalry away from those archers because they are going to cause some problems. My infantry can stay where it is for now because right now they're going to be engaging the Mamelukes. Doing some good work there. And they got hit, but fortunately they were quite bog. They were quite chunky. You guys can try charge the Sek Band Janissaries, but let's get, we need to be ready to make them book it. My guards here are doing good work, but they are limited in number, so let's redress this front line. Just to get more men involved in the action. Okay, now my cavalry can charge the Armenian archers in the rear. Those Mamelukes, yeah, they weren't ever going to last. Advance up the hill. Maybe three of you. Secure this piece of terrain. You men had pivot to face the archers. Although you guys might actually be better off running, advancing over to here in an attempt to try and climb this raised ground. Sec band janissaries are down. Looks like our artillery is still engaging, so let's change those targets. Okay, my artillery, or my cavalry can now go chase down some of their artillery, because it appears to, that they've left it behind. You guys can actually attack the archers as well. Let's divvy up our howitzers rather than focusing too much on any one target. Excellent. So now these men can spread out far into the flank of that formation there. You're going to deal with both of these guns to the rear. These riskers of souls are actually a bit of a concern. Let's 
Uh, where's my big artillery battery? Shrapnel shots, not an option for them. Bombard the Riskers of Souls with everything you got. Yeah, the guns are shattered, but make sure they are dead. Now you guys get out of there, get my cavalry out of there. You're, you, you're shooting, so you guys can actually position. Good, 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 good. Pivot all my infantry. My guns cease fire. I, did, I do witness my cavalry not being as effective as they could be. Hot fire with my howitzers. Actually, no, all attack that order there. You guys attack the 32nd. Janissary Musketeers are still in the picture. Once the African Infantry Guards have been dealt with. There we go. New men about face. Heavy cavalry. I'm going to deal with the 32nd. Yeah, my light cavalry should hopefully be able to do enough damage to the Riskers of Souls. They don't come back from routing. Okay. Yeah, they're done for as well. All my artillery ceasefire. Yeah, my general's bodyguard's way out of it. Okay, you guys actually in range. Yeah, you are. You aren't. There we go. They're going to advance up, and that's going to be their downfall. We don't really need to send anyone else, so let's just speed up time. Because uh, the only unit that can withstand us is that unit. Oh, no. The infantry guards came back, eh? Going up on them with my cavalry and my general. Yes. We are going to continue. It won't last very long. I just would like to try and... Ooh, I might actually kill this Riskers of Souls unit. Delicious. Most of these units are going to successfully rout. Actually, you guys might be in trouble. No, you're not. No, you're not in trouble. You're close enough. Well, actually, now you might be in trouble. You are in trouble. You're done. Nice. Good outcome there. We've taken out quite a significant portion of the army. A very significant proportion. And only lost nearly 600 men ourselves. I mean, that's an incredibly annoying direction to route. It's a really annoying direction to route. So much so, you guys pretty much have to run back here. Ugh. So they're going to get a little... They're going to have a little raiding party because they routed away from us that way. That's a real bummer. Oh well, repairing things is cheap. Um, you're, you're sieging um, the city here. You could take it, but I'm just going to let you guys replenish. Apart from that, I think... Probably going to hit end turn. Lots of good tech. Let's hit end turn. Let my agents all creep on. Yeah, recruitment is still ongoing in many places. But yes, we have removed Persia, Persia from the game. Austria is now looking considerably more vulnerable than she previously did. Oh no, they're going to run around the little pass. That's a typical shabby Austrian trick. Yeah, they know that, yeah, they know they can't fight us in the field, so they have to resort to Cowardly little tactics. I mean, these rebels are not very... They're not going to be around for long. Opportunities to intercept. Ooh, yeah. I'd like... I'd like a river battle, but we can't get it. But I'll take it, because it will draw in some quite good artillery units, and plus a whole bunch of this really elite army here, and it will knock back a number of smaller units. 
So hopefully we can knock them out with just this army without calling in free reinforcements. Let's do it. So hopefully we can push up, have my weak army besiege the city, and then my second army can cover the bridge heading towards Milan. Although that might be within their zone of control, so we might not get away with that. But we can try. We can try. As it is, I think... Well, this is my first use of French green jackets. I mean, we've used them in my British campaign, but now we're using the French one, the Tyrolleur? Tyrolleur? Something like that. And so, obviously, you can imagine that they are using a very similar, if not identical, model to the British green jackets, but these ones are ugly and terrible, whereas British ones are lovely. So, let's form a grand battery here. Here. It sort of restricts their firing arc, but it gives them... That's quite a good defensive position for them. We accept my howitzers are going to be in a bit of a forward position. So let's take all of our actual infantry and form our line anchored on this raised terrain feature. My skirmish is going to be up here backed up with some cavalry, my lancers and my cuirassier on the other flank, general in the centre. That hill would be nice to own but it very much depends on where people are going to be coming from. So mass focus there on their artillery when in reality I probably would rather like to have knocked out some different units. It's a lot of quicklime going in, so there's one army coming in, there's another, this looks like it's probably their proper reinforcing army. There goes the heavy horse guard artillery and they're already coming for us. So you guys, because you're in position, you can open fire on the horse guards. So my, my plan was to sort of... Well, let's let you guys get a volley. They can deploy stakes, but they can't deploy them quickly enough, so I'm kind of counting on massed firepower to work. I mean, I do have Curacier here, so I can just do this. Do the old switcheroo. So obviously you can understand it's in the enemy's, the, the AI's DNA. I mean, that's not an ideal time for quick climb to hit. But you don't hit the Lancer Guards, hit. Yeah. So my heavy cavalry should win against theirs because we outnumber them significantly. These four units of troops are going to advance with my skirmishers in support. So this is part of the reason why I didn't want to deploy stakes because we don't know where we're actually going to be fighting them. So send my Chevaux Leger in. Actually, that's not, because they've clearly just... They want to play silly buggers. Hmm. Provincial cavalry... Eh, that's, a bit of a, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, run you guys back to this combat, where I'm hoping... Crossier, they're holding off my crossier pretty well. Okay, my Chevaux Leger. Go get those guns. Yeah, it's part of the problem now is that I didn't is that I advanced them too far uh, advanced them too fast and I didn't anticipate my cavalry here taking Oh I didn't realise, anticipate my cavalry taking this long to actually fight. So let's just try run one of these units to here and another unit just to run away. 
So I run my infantry through this block. So let's run my light infantry around and get them ready to form a new defensive line. Horse guards attack that general's bodyguard unit. So you guys fire it will off. Let's bring the skirmishers back. Hey, do they hit my they got my how they got to my howitzer line. Oh, so they hit my howitzer line and my gunners then followed them. Sweet. Nice one, gunners. Okay, you guys stay in square. You guys reform your square, you guys reform your square. Provincial Cavalry and Lancer Guards, you guys can fire at will. Because hopefully you guys can get a good volley off. So bring my cuirassier back and rely on concentrated rifle fire. So all the way back here. There's some marines coming in, but you guys can attack that artillery unit. So again, just let my rifles reload. Bring my cuirassier back. You guys are still going to de defeat most of these units here. So garrison guards, all focus on, well, focus all my artillery up on the garrison guards. My heavy cavalry should knock out that provincial cavalry. These units can now form a form a proper line. Okay, Lance and Chevalier, get out of there. Because now we're killing units. They're all going to start spawning in back here. So you men go after 2nd Regiment. And there's the 12th and the 13th. Go on. You guys attack the Provincial Cavalry. Don't just tickle him. You men all shrapnel shot the 10th Regiment. You guys get out of square. Let's deploy our cuirassier. My light infantry here is not really doing anything. It's relying on the 5th regiment doing work. So you guys hit the 12th. You guys hit the 2nd. There we go, pushed back a few of the regiment of the line. Okay, you guys fire at will, because there's a great big block of enemy cavalry there that you can just annihilate. Cease fire. There we go, so you guys knock out the 12th. Okay, so I've got a big infantry block here that can that is going to march up and take this hill. Or are they? Probably. So I'm attacking ground here near the enemy enemy positions. Okay, let's now... They are within range, so let's focus them with... Focus them with uh, our, our gunfire. Let's move our cavalry, our artillery over onto the flank here. We're bringing in a new general, which we don't want. Let's bring up our actual general. Get my cavalry out of dodge, get them to group up. Yeah, the howitzers are still good. Bring my general up onto the the top of the hill.
advance. He should have shot their uh, artillery to bits. Let's actually change some of these targets. I mean, these guys are way too close than they need to be. Well, they're way closer than they need to be. Let's advance you men up to more accurately fill in the gaps. Obviously, the 19th light foot have got an excellent shot at the marines here. Let's advance our cavalry brigade up on the right flank. If you men all fire at will, you should do a real number on these marines. So they fired your, you fired your volley. Retarget everyone. I always retarget everyone because so you never remember who I've sent to attack who. So back here, yeah, here come all the garrison guards. The Windbush Jäger, Swiss Mountain Jäger. They formed a bit of a defensive position. Okay, we've got some marines. Let's send my marines to the right flank. Let's get our cuirassier in to hit some of these troops because they're doing a lot of damage to my light infantry. My light infantry can hold their own to a degree. Let's throw in to try and break the 20th. Nope, get out of there. Quick Lime's coming in. Oh, you guys are occupying the same piece of space and time. The light cavalry sharpshooters have become very interested in what's going on. My field artillery is largely in position. You guys lim uh, unlimber begin to start dueling with their guns at long range. You men advance up like so. You guys push up like so. Looks like we are. Okay, pull you men back. These marines are realising they might... <laughs> actually get involved in scrap. The 21st foot guards, they just lost a whole bunch of men from my light, my light infantry clearing them out. So I'm hoping we can knock out the 36th in fairly short order. Ooh, you're all firing shrapnel sharp. Spicy, but not your intended target. Okay, that's the enemy left beaten, so we can advance. They may well come back, so we've got to be ready for that. You hit the 11th, you guys hit the sharpshooters, you guys hit these foot guards. Because these units aren't the be all and end all. So who's back there? 105 light dragoons. I'll send my cavalry back to knock out the Light Dragoons and their own artillery, which means I can get these guns to instead bombard the 18th Guards and the 10th Foot Guards. Yep, yeah, so they've come back. The men advance, let's pivot this unit of Light Infantry to more specifically... Oh, do you get artillery to hell? Oh, you got shot. Ah, the Mountain Jaeger. Yeah, my cavalry have got light infantry to buggery. Let's just get my marines in here. My light infantry reorganize. This artillery that I told not to fire shrapnel shot, now fire shrapnel shot, because they're in range. It's 
let's hit the Swiss Mountain Jaeger with our heavy with our um, heavier artillery. We've now got a new unit that can limber. There we go. We've got some pretty elite Marines that can take that can deal with most of the damage. Obviously, got a lot of light infantry as well. And these these actually let's get a unit of artillery to focus on the Jaeger. Let's bring our Bring some heavy cavalry across the map. Got some Lancer Guards coming in. 36 foot are now routing, which is excellent. The Windbrushier have advanced to point blank range, which isn't the best decision. I mean, granted, it does mean they are incredibly accurate. But my guys with muskets are now pretty darn accurate and could shoot a hell of a lot faster. So you men all attack the 18th foot guards. We do have enemy skirmishers to be aware of here. I might actually set you guys all to attack these light dragoons to the rear. There we go, that's immediately got them on the march. There's not a lot I can do about their camouflaged infantry until we've got a bit more of a comprehensive dominance of the field. need to clear out the Wimbush Jaeger pretty rapidly. Ooh, excellent artillery shot. There we go. So you men, once you've reloaded, should do an incredibly damaging volley into the flank of the 10th foot guards, although they're already quite upset. Garrison guards are there. The Wimbush Jaeger. There they are. The Swiss Mountain Jaeger, sorry. Bombard them with artillery fire. With my howitzers. Field artillery. Engage the enemy. They have dug it, built a right little defensive position here. We can't mob them with cavalry from any direction. There you go. Now we're starting to pick away at their skirmishes with our own skirmishes. Great volley from the 19th. There we go. We've taken the field. My main line advance. My skirmishers can run. And they're going to be backed up by cavalry. So we've lost many men in this engagement. Actually, my front line might actually... May actually run. Yeah, like all of my units are really knackered. This this first army is is really quite damaged. Well, let's just keep pushing. Because we need to knock that artillery piece out of commission. They are marching up there like dragoons to try and stop us. Letting your entire position run and form into squares. Oh, okay. You're actually out of ammo. Whoa. Lancer guards cha charge the, the fifth. You guys are out of ammo. These men cease fire. Now my Lancer guards hit the light dragoons. Yeah, they're wavering. So the fifth have... They may recover.
Well, there they go. And now they're, they're all incredibly upset and they may end up actually all routing. Yep, there they go. Oh. Should really take them out, but this army got knackered. So we really need to uh, not push our luck. Yeah, we lost 1,200 men. This army is incredibly depleted, except for the artillery. Well, except for one unit of artillery. Okay. Okay, right. I pressed spacebar by accident. Still, that's a bigger loss than they would like. Than they would like to have experienced. You can see that that infantry, or that unit, to the is actually advancing in um, in Central Europe. They're running up to Morocco to try and cause us problems. Oh, you silly Billy. Yes, we will fight you. But looking at the timer, because we're pretty close to an hour, I think I'm going to do that in the next episode, because that'd be quite good to uh, kick off. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the death of Maximilian Ulysses Brown, who is a field marshal of Europe, no less. Excellent for the picking. Radio. Cheers, everyone.